Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. I just wanted to chime in and uh, and talk about a, a piece of equipment uh, that uh, is really handy around the, uh, the homestead. And uh, even if you have uh, just a very small homestead or small farm, uh, something of this nature is going to go uh, a long way. Now, it's better if you even have a larger tractor than I do. I just have a lawn tractor. Um, but in terms of... Um, the accessories that are available for lawn tractors um, are, are pretty cool, you know. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different things. There's small plows and uh, wagon systems and... Um, I have the um, the Super Bronco uh, by Troy Built, and uh, I really enjoy this tractor. I think it's uh, uh, 19 horsepower. It's right here, uh, automatic with cruise control. I do my use the cruise control sometimes, but um, what I really like is the emergency brake system. There's a nice uh, uh, brake system that you can actually force the brake on if you're on a hill. Uh, some of my uh, parts of the property, I have to actually use that when I park it so it doesn't roll down the hill while I'm loading it up um, but uh, it says this uses a cast iron front axle a 42 inch deck which is pretty standard this is not like a large one or anything but a 19 horsepower it's pretty decent this is a uh, 10 years old so 19 horsepower 10 years ago was uh, really really big uh, 597 cc twin cam uh, Kohler uh, engine so uh, very cool and uh, this one has the uh, <clears throat> uh, six different levels of the deck. Uh, it goes low all the way up to high, which as you can see here, uh, it goes five and then high. So there's, there's six different levels. Um, I've been pretty much mowing my grass on level five. And uh, I have it on high right now just because I've been driving it around and uh, I've been moving uh, some dirt and some rock around on the property. So I've been using this wagon here and uh, uh, this is a dump wagon. And uh, what I've done is uh, it's been used quite a bit as you can tell. Um, modifications. Uh, just to kind of hold my shovel, for example, I have this um, this, this small bracket system here, and uh, the way this works is that on the back side, uh, and there, there used to be some um, some bolts here that you could actually uh, just keep this uh, tailgate, if you will, from um, you know basically just popping up, but it, it doesn't really pop up. So um, I use this really more as a dump type of uh, of um, a wagon system. So right here, you can just lift this up. <laughs> and take the whole tailgate off as you can see and uh and basically you have a nice bed so when you dump uh your dirt or rock or uh you know, whatever it is uh you know it'll all come out instead of having to shovel it out of it you know uh as you put it in so um over here though um here's a, a tractor hitch of course, you could put a bolt there, too, if you want it a little bit stronger, possibly. But here's the, the dumping action. For those who don't have one of these, as you can see that, I should have probably held it, but uh, there's the dumping action. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, the axle there, it's kind of unique, and it's real simple uh, how it dumps. Um, and when, you, when you're finished dumping, you can just bring this forward. And if you can see the latch here, I'll get a real close up. That shows all right. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, overall, though, these little wagons aren't that big of a deal. They can be found for, I mean, brand new for under $100. I think this one retailed for like $88. Uh, they have a weight limit of about 1,000 pounds. And, uh, you know, these lawnmowers are pretty good uh, overall. Um, I've been having some small issues with the tires uh, every once in a while. Maybe I just drive a little fast. Maybe it's just the terrain. But it seems like if, if I... Especially if I have some lower, um, uh, you know, not, not pay attention too much. And sometimes the, the, the pressure gets a little low. Um, the, the actual tire tread will come off. Since these are tubeless, you got to watch that. So I've been trying to top them off, you know, pretty regularly, you know, just to keep it up. Just to keep up on that. Now, in terms of the engine bay here, as you can see, I'm a real... Uh, <laughs> sporty kind of guy I keep my things real clean right well it's real dusty because i've been out in the dust you know in the dirt and the yard and stuff but uh, it does clean up pretty well it has a pretty decent size uh you know gas tank right here i'm um, basically running on fumes right now i need to get more gas but yeah basically um you know it has the uh over here on this side this is your air intake filter and this is where you um uh, check your oil and put extra oil in there and 
your headlamps up there. This one over here on the side doesn't work, and um, this one of them broke, you know, and things like that. It kind of it kind of blinks and stuff. Uh, yeah, so you can see this one right here is completely broken inside. I, I, I mean, it's possible I could probably get another bulb for that. Uh, this one does, but it flickers at night. Sometimes I'd be out driving, uh, mowing the grass at night, which I probably shouldn't do that. You shouldn't. It's probably not safe. And it'll flicker out, and I'll be, like, driving blind for a moment. <laughs> so there's a lot of times I kind of probably should be wearing, a, like, a headlamp. Um, you know, there's been some uh, accidents um, I didn't do any, pretty much any of the damage you see. It was done before, uh, I got this, but, um, I guess they use this as a ramming rod and there needs to be a bumper on this thing, to be honest with you. And I'm not really sure what happened over here. That's a pretty big, uh, I mean, maybe it tipped over or something smashed or something fell on it. I don't know. So you got your, uh, you know, your water bottle and you have your, just your, uh, forward and your, uh, uh, neutral and reverse and uh, here's the uh, the console here the command center. Let's get over here I don't think it has a See, I don't really think this horn is, is works. I mean, there's it seems like there's something there, but it doesn't there's no horn I like to put like an air horn on here. That'd be really awesome But anyway, so this is um, the engagement. It's called the PTO blade engagement and uh, this engages the actual 42 inch deck uh, of, of power <laughs> and uh, to cut grass. There's your amperage gauge and uh, the battery is about three years old on mine. <clears throat> so, I mean, I hear that you can get sometimes as much as five years of battery off of these. I don't know, but I haven't had this for an extremely long amount of time. And then I have my parking brake here and then over here is my cruise control and this is your ignition system here. Let me just bring this up. This is your throttle control over here. And uh, this is right here where you can, um, you put your key and you turn it on and there's like a, I think there's some kind of a reverse button here if you wanted to go reverse and, and have your blade on, override it. And then over here is your controls, this is your, your gas, this bottom one, and then up here is your brake. To engage the parking brake, you actually have to push the brake all the way in with your foot and then come over here and then push this in and if you can see it holds now if you want to disengage that you have to come back over here with your foot and push this out and as you can see it already it, it pulled out so so i just wanted to show you my lawnmower it's kind of cool and oh here's some other in, in, just uh, instructions and stuff different instructions for it's probably pretty dusty but um that's cool and then on the under the seat is obviously where the battery of course people who have mowers know all this but uh, I just kind of want to show you my seat um, and so it pulls up and then you have this battery here uh, this one uses a um, an Everstart number uh, 81 275 I think cold cranking amps a little 12 volt battery not too big and uh, yeah so uh, when you um, if you stand up while you're driving, it has this um, disconnect here, and it'll actually kill the uh, kill the motor, like a safety feature. So I guess if you fell off, it won't mow over you, or hopefully it won't. It could probably still roll over you, or drive over you, but hopefully the blades wouldn't kill you. I, I don't know. Horrible. But, um, <clears throat> so... So yeah, you know, this is pretty cool. So this is my lawnmower. Uh, give you another shot over here. You can see the blades. I just put new blades on this sucker. And uh, here's a flap here. You can see there. And, um, it's just a cool little, uh, a cool little deal. And, uh, and I just really enjoy this, uh, this setup here. But uh, yeah, sometimes you just need certain tools, certain things um, to help uh, make things a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Help things, uh, make them easier to, so that your job and your work isn't to just overbearing. You know, sometimes I find myself shoveling and shoveling things and, um, just totally unnecessary. You know, sometimes instead of carrying buckets, so five gallon buckets of dirt and rock to fill in things, now I can just use my shovel and load this sucker up. Uh, and I can probably get the equivalent of, let's see here, one, two, three, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably between ten to twelve uh, five-gallon buckets per dump, versus carrying, you know, uh, half of a two. I'm sorry, uh, two uh, five-gallon buckets half full, just so I don't pull my back out. Uh, just uh, over time, you know, if you do it too much, you can pull your lower back out. At least I, I've had before, and so I try to be cautious. But 
So, you know, I'd just be curious about if there's any type of, uh, you know, different tools. Because um, I think that would be cool to actually uh, do a series in the future. Or if there's anybody that my viewers that would like to make a, start making a series of tools, like for gardening tools or yard tool videos uh, that pertain to um, uh, preparation. Uh, you know, especially uh, like homesteading tools in particular. Of course, garden tools in general are very homesteading-like or homestead type of uh, themes. But, uh, you know, some people have very nice shovels, you know, hoes and, uh, you know, yard picks. And there's just a lot of really nice tools out there. Uh, my tools are just kind of the average tools that you get at you know, any hardware store. Uh, but some people actually make their own or uh, they um, they have them specially made. So it's really cool to actually see those. Uh, or maybe you have like... Um, uh, refurbished toy t tools not toys uh, tools um maybe you've uh maybe you've inherited them or give, been given them from like uh previous generations in your family maybe your grandfather gave you a set of various garden tools and you know you uh you fixed them up you know you cleaned them up uh, sanded them down repainted them uh maybe put a new handle on whatever tool uh maybe it was an axe axes typically need new handles every so many years so, yeah, I would love to see that or hear about it or, you know, if there's something that you would like to see that I have, I'd be, I'd be more than happy, at least within reason, to show you. And, um, you know, sometimes you just need uh, to have the right tool for the job. Otherwise, you can literally just really hurt yourself, man. You know, I've strained myself a lot over the years doing things around here that I probably shouldn't be doing manually. Uh, you probably need, like, heavy equipment or, uh, you know, you, you, you sometimes you just need a little help, you know. Um, there's been times that I've actually been uh, shoveled, uh, you know, 20 tons of dirt over a matter of just a couple of weeks, uh, just by myself, you know, moving things around when I first moved here, for example, uh, trying to get things a little bit more settled, you know, and, uh, cause when I first moved here, there was pretty much nothing, you know, this was all just a virgin piece of land. There was no driveway. There was nothing, you know, no home. I mean, I had to build everything from scratch. And so. Um, you know, that's kind of fun. That's kind of cool, you know, but at the same time, if you don't have, um, the right tools, um, and I don't have any heavy machinery to my name. So, you know, either, um, you know, people that were here doing other types of work, for example, like, you know, when I had the builder here, I was, you know, and they had some construction tools and stuff. I, I was able to get some, uh, of them to do other types of things for the yard, you know, move dirt around here and there, or, um, you know, sometimes you just have to be mindful of try to use all the resources you have at your disposal, uh, when you have it and, uh, and, and try to think a little ahead of yourself, you know, like a forward thinking, um, to figure out how you're going to best use those resources. So you guys take care and I hope you enjoyed my video on my lawnmower or my I like to, it sounds better when you say like lawn tractor or just tractor, uh, but uh, <laughs> you know some people, uh, you know they all all they want to talk about is their tractor and it sounds like they're, like they're a farmer or something, and uh, and so really that's that's not what I would consider. I mean I was raised with real tractors, you know big big John Deere full size uh, with even the dualies in the back, and that's when I think of a tractor. I think of the real big tractors. Uh, but I guess a tractor, you know, is just, uh, is, is like, you know, it could be a lawnmower because I mean, it's just a small version. I, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I wouldn't see why it couldn't be, but, um, yeah. So if you're proud of your tractor or your lawn, uh, your lawn machines, uh, let me know about it. I'd be curious. Uh, it's kind of fun to, um, to have something that you can just drive around with. And while many people here might say, oh man, you know, you've never had a riding line more. Well, I mean, I've been around them and used them a lot for many years. Uh, but I've always just for some reason stuck with a push mower or a weed eater. And uh, so to have my own riding line more, and I've had it for a while. I mean, there's been videos going back many months now of having, but, but it's fun. It's, it really is fun. You just got to maintain it so that it can work. And, um, and, you know, just kind of keep an eye on it. So, um, I'd also be curious if anybody has any recommendations of how to store the lawnmower, um, if you don't have a traditional like garage or something like that, because I know there's a lot of people that probably are in that situation that you don't have a traditional shelter. Um, I mean, I, I would think maybe you could use tarps, maybe wrap a tarp over it or maybe several over it, maybe even make a lean to up against another building with tarps and then also, you know, cover the, 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 uh, the machine, uh, tractor, and um, that could be an option.
You know, some people just build a small lean-to, you know, right on their, uh, another building. Or, you know, of course, the easiest way is just to put it in a shed if you can fit it in there or a barn or a garage. But uh, if you just don't have that, if you don't have that, you have to just kind of make use. Uh, so, uh, hey, you guys, be careful and uh, stay well. Uh, don't forget, though, tonight, hopefully this will be, uh, I'll have this video up by t before the election. But tonight, uh, I think it's 9 o'clock Eastern time, I, I do believe. Uh, the second presidential election will air. So um, you may not, you know, watch this video before that, but uh, we'll have commentary on it. Trust me, <laughs> I'll be taking notes. You guys take care.